Hey y'all, we wanted to give you an update. It's been a couple of days now since... Um, since the buzz started. Yeah, I guess. Um, if you're wondering why I look really tired, it's because I am. <laughs> There's the realness. <laughs> um, we've had some questions from people and honestly, it's been really fun uh, talking and, and connecting with people that we haven't talked with in years. <laughs> We're sorry. Um, so it's been really cool to tell the story over and over and over and uh, it's just exciting to hear the people that uh, care a lot about it and um, honestly hearing other people being excited about what we're excited about mm -hmm. has been really cool and so um, we're having fun already and we just started so that's good. Um, but we have some questions that people have been getting and that they have been um, relaying and asking to us Yeah, and even like people asking other people questions and so uh, we wanted to clarify some things and just pour out some more details um, and we'll do this as we go but the first question uh, to hit tonight is uh, are we joining another existing retreat or are we starting one from scratch uh, and the answer is we're starting one from scratch um, so we know that um, like there's a retreat or a, a camp or something here in North Carolina called the Refuge. Uh, I don't know what the full name of it is, but um, to be honest, when we started this process, I think without even talking about it, we both knew what the name was going to be called mm -hmm. um, because it was over nine years ago now, I felt God saying to me to open a coffee shop to reach college students. And I just felt like he said to call it the Refuge. And so uh, from there, that's kind of when the the passion to reach college students was was birthed within me uh, before we even got engaged mm -hmm. and uh, started a college ministry at Journey and like that name just kind of kept staying in there. So when this all happened, we just kind of looked at each other and it was like, we're going to call it the refuge. So we didn't really even think twice about that. We just knew that's what was supposed to happen. So Yeah, um, so when you look us up on Facebook or whatever, you'll see a lot of other retreat places called. They've got the name Refuge in it, of course. Um, yeah. We are just the Refuge Retreat, and um, we're planning on being located in Flat Rock, North Carolina. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be the location. That's right. And then, obviously, as we get going, get to know our logo and stuff, and we'll kind of be recognizable that way, too. But, uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the first clarification. It's a brand new, not done before. And to be honest, like, we don't know of a lot of retreat centers that are just for college students. We've talked about that a little bit. Um, there may be some really cool places that do an event here and there for college students, but as far as like being solely for unapologetic for college students, uh, we don't really know of any out there. If so, you know of any though, let us know because yeah, we'd love to connect. We would love to yeah, see what they're doing and steal all their really good ideas. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's said that out loud. Okay, so the next one is um, the, <laughs> the exact timeline for what we are doing. Um, so we've said a little bit about this, but just to be just very clear so our closing date we are under contract on this property in Flat Rock which we love it's beautiful um, we'll have to do another video just talking all about that yeah we'll need to give some details of the property it's been really cool um, what it looks like all that kind of stuff uh, but so we are under contract by the grace of God uh, no earnest money no due diligent money just a straight up zero dollar down contract uh, and the closing date on the property is August 1st um, now, obviously, the due diligent period is always, anytime you buy a house, your due diligent period is before your closing date. But our closing date is August 1st. Uh, and so, of course, we're not going to close on the property if we don't raise the money that we need to raise in order to purchase. Um, so we have gone through lots of conversations with bankers and with people helping us with the amount, all that kind of stuff. And so uh, the amount that we've announced that we need to raise is $700,000 in order for us to go to the bank to approve for a loan to close on this property. So that is the timeline as far as the property. Now, as far as us, our family, uh, there's just a lot of ifs, okay? And, and again, we talked about like getting us up to this point and how the next step in the process saying yes to God was to raise funds. And so um, there's still some ifs and what's going on. And you know, if we sell our home in you know, no time or if it takes forever or whatever, there's all of those questions. Uh, but we are the Neal family looking at moving to Flat Rock uh, in the fall, sometime in the fall. So we don't we don't have a date on that for Caitlin. She's the detail person, so it probably drives her crazy to know that there's not a specific date. But. Well, there's just a lot of unknowns surrounding all of that. So, of course, like we have a plan A, 
Um, but there's plan B, plan C, and a lot of other options that um, would go into effect, <laughs> um, just depending on certain things. So it's kind of something that's up in the air and, um, you know, as time allows and we see what God's doing, then um, we'll have more clarity yeah. on that. So, um, but we do feel strongly about that location and being there regardless. So um, we'll be moving there definitely this fall. Um, again, don't know exactly what that'll look like, but um, that's kind of what we, we think in our heads right now that that could change between now and then. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so, yep, we'll yeah. be there. Dream scenario is we raise the funds. We get to the place and we do this dang thing mm -hmm. uh but anyway so we're we're just again continuing to see what god does from here on there and we're in no matter what so uh next question is uh how you begin functioning as a retreat right now this property is functioning as a um, a vacation rental property so there are cottages 11 to be exact on this property and the people that own it are currently renting it out right now so um, we know that as we get there, we would ma maintain the vacation rental business aspect of it to give us time to transition into um, more of a retreat um, process. Also, that would help give us income uh, to help pay off um, the loan. Uh, so that's something that we, it's actually a, a really cool like benefit that we could be bringing in money while we're kind of transitioning to get where we go. So, yeah. so stage one, sorry, go ahead. No, we, we just see that as a really big positive about this location, just that it would allow us to be sustainable immediately um, as we can transition and turn it into a place for retreats because there's definitely a couple things that we would need to be doing um, to be able to host groups. And so, so stage one would be able to get in there, op, you know, operate it as is, and then you know, make it fit for groups to be able to come. And then stage two would be able to open it up for um, retreats, like for people to come and um, put on their own retreats, of course. So like if a leadership team wanted to come or your youth leaders or anybody wanted to come and use the property as a space for their retreat, um, we would love to be able to get comfortable at that process for a little bit um, before we try to um, run our own retreat. Yeah. Um, so then stage three will be, of course, when we're ready to put on a retreat weekend um, ourselves, which would mean, you know, we kind of, we have the schedule, people show up and they just get to come and be and, and we put it on for them. So that's where we want to get, but um, understandably, like, we're not going to be able to, like, get in there and begin doing that. It's All something right. that'll take a good amount of time. So um, it'll be a slow transition process, and that's at least how we see it going in our heads. Um, yeah. Just to make that clear, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next question is, why a retreat center for college students? Even some of the questions have been like, what does that even look like? Like, what is what is a retreat center for college students? Um, a lot of people know of, we're trying not to use the word camp. I'm really big on terminology, and so yeah, I don't like so the word camp. I, I, damn, I just, it's important. Uh, I don't like the word camp for some reason. It just reminds me of like a 10 year old boy that's going away for a month and he comes back and he knows how to tie like every knot in the world or something. It's not that. So anyway, so um, the idea is, um, is, yeah, is that, uh, so why retreat for college students? So, um, you know, all the statistics. So like we've, we've heard and known for years. I mean, when I was first, you know, given, I feel like, from God, this desire to reach college students over nine years ago, there were the, this book, you know, that I read that was talking about how um, the percentage of college students that don't go to church. And so we've been knowing for years that college students aren't going to church when they leave high school, okay? So our method has been, let's just keep planting churches in college towns and maybe those kids will go. And maybe if the pastor is bald and has a beard and wears tight jeans, then college kids will want to go to his church. And like, that's not working, hasn't worked for that long. And why are we still doing that? And so for us, um, the idea is like, we were very impacted by retreat and by getting away and, and those that type of environment. And we see the value in it. Um, and then even like for the last three and a half years, taking students to a retreat and just seeing what God can do in a unique environment. Um, and you know, that's part of our mission is like unifying uh, college students in one, one area for the purpose of training and teaching them that they're the ones that are gonna go back to their campuses and go make disciples. Mm -hmm. uh, I can be the best speaker and whatever there is, but unless a college student comes, 
feels that they and believe that they can be the ones that go back and impact their take canvas. Yeah, take the personal responsibility. Like that's the thing that we want to empower, not hey, come hear me, I'm cool and I'm awesome and I always wear a hat because I have a receding hairline. <laughs> like it's not <laughs> it's it's not that. It's the fact that we want to empower and to uh, God does the empowering, the Holy Spirit does that, but we want to equip and train to where they can go back and and make disciples on their college campus. Well, and us specifically didn't feel like God was calling us to a specific college, too. Um, so we, we did kind of, we prayed through that a lot um, early on, too. If, if there's a specific college, we felt like God was leading us to. But um, we just kept feeling like it would be a central location where people from all different colleges could come. Mm-hmm. And um, so it would be awesome for, like, people to show up from all different colleges for one weekend and kind of unify that generation. That's part of our, our mission too. And that's, we see that as part of the unifying aspect yeah. of just bringing kids together, students together from all different colleges and um, yeah, not just one specific location. Yeah. And I could talk about that for a long time and Kayla knows that. So she under the table gave me the wrap it up finger. So mainly because this has already been 11. And yeah, we're sorry. So last thing, this is the last thing to wrap it up. Um, some people have been asking, like, how can you donate? So obviously that's a big thing. That's where we are right now is in the fundraising stage. Uh, and a lot of the ifs are all um, based on what we can raise in the short amount of time that we have to raise it. So uh, how you can donate, uh, our website is up and going, running. So therefugeretreat.com mm-hmm. um, is where you can go. And, and it's a very simple website right now. It's, it's basic, and so you can get the overall information but when you click on the button join the movement from the home page that's where you can see the three ways that we would like for you to join the movement which is uh, pray donate and share uh, and so there's a big donate button it's annoyingly bigger than any button on the website uh, so you can click right there and give online um, if you are someone who would prefer to write a check and avoid the credit card fees then uh, you can write a check and there's on our website again uh, in multiple places, but we have a PO box that we would love for you to mail the check to that. It's PO box 1423, Clayton, North Carolina, 27520, memorized it. Um, And so you can mail checks there. Uh, We will slowly be releasing other ways for you to to join the movement and to donate as well. Um, We're gonna have a, uh, it's actually pretty cool, a t-shirt campaign coming out really soon where you can buy um, it's like hoodie, t-shirt, long sleeve tee. There's even like a youth size tee and there's different colors. Anyway, but it's another way to where you can help us out, but then you could also have some, you know, cool looking shirt. Um, and so the reality is we have to raise a lot of money in a short amount of time. And so um, we're gonna be, you know, throwing things out there and, and we wanna make it really easy for you to know where to go um, to, to give. And so we already have been so like, just grateful of, of people that have shown and expressed their excitement. Um, one of the coolest things is our first, after we announced everything Monday, our first donation actually came from a college student. And so it was just a moment where we were just like, you know, like we believe that God can do this, that college students can, this is the whole thing. That's the reason why we're doing this is because when people don't think that college students can, we believe that they can. Uh, and so it's just been a really cool already to see that. But, um, We really appreciate your help and appreciate any connection that you have, a a college minister, pastor you know, that would love to hear our story or get on board with us. Um, We'd love to to talk and share our story for the 900th time. We're down for sharing it. Yeah, so make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and um, follow us there for all these updates, and we'll be back soon. Yeah, bye.